Hello and what is happening Raptors? This is Blizzard Raptor here, ready to smash my way through another session of Elden Ring. Oof. Love the armor, love the look, love the aesthetic. Really happy with that. So today's plan is to go back to Lane Dell. We did the subterranean shunning grounds, the Lanedale catacombs. I'm going to go to the lower capital church and do some more of the sort of ground floor question mark. Not sure what you would call it. This is where this guy was. He has smashing weapons as well. He also breathes fire, which is cool and all. But he's pretty squishy, and he dies when I hit him in the face, so that's all that matters. <laughs> I love doing that too much. So, I know that a drop over here was for an item there. There's more to this than I have done, though. There are more things in heaven and earth than I dreamt of in your philosophy. So, I think I'm going to have to quickly go back down here. Back through here. We'll just quickly smoosh this guy while we're here. Oh dear, oh no, oh what a tragedy. Yep, there we go. Thanks for the night greaves and the partisan, that's actually quite cool of you. Thank you. Got to be a way up onto that bridge. Sure there is. There's a lot I haven't done back this way. Did, actually, did I go? Yeah, I did go in there, didn't I? There wasn't a lot in there. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Go away. Hmm. Ah, actually, yeah, I know what way to go, I know what way to go, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. I got lost there for a minute because it's been a while since I've seen, because I spent so long in the sort of catacombs, the subterranean shunning grounds yesterday, I'd forgotten that I'd missed, that I'd went down that lift. The, the pauses are because I'm yawning, today is a, 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 a down day, I'm very tired. I can feel my eyes watering. So apologies if I go quiet, I'm trying not to make the yawning obvious into the mic. Okay. So we've got an air tree boss. Oh, we've got an item. Cool. I am allowed to summon for this fight. I could. Had that there. Had them there though. Dodges have to be so well timed. I've got cover. Ouch. Nice. Enjoyed that fight. The timing on his attacks feels very... 
there's a precision, but it's it's not like a it's not an obvious rhythm. When he's doing the swings, the air tree guardian, when he's swinging that giant club, there's an attack where he does a sweep. I think it's stomp, sweep, and then the overhead, and the overhead misses a beat, if that makes sense. Like, you can almost count it in your head, and then at the last second, it's like, oh, no, no, that's... He gets you with that last attack, because you're waiting for that extra beat to happen. So it's, it's, it's very well done, very well animated. Hey, don't let me interrupt you guys. No, fuck right off. Fuck, fuck off, fuck off, fuck. Fuck off. In danger of getting stun locked to death there. Be just because these guys can break my poise with. Yeah, fuck that shit. I hate that. The most basic bitch ass enemy in the game is also the most dangerous. That does suck ass. Rats are the same. Erin noticed this the other day. Rats absolutely tanked her. Because they just, if, if two or three are attacking you at once, they develop a kind of insane timing of their own where it's like one, then one, then one, then one. Then one, then one, and you're just continually stun locked in place until you die. Yeah, that's the way to get that item there. We'll go explore that. And I don't think it's fair, but then nothing about a From Software game's fair. For all the, the lore and the brilliance in the storytelling. The some of their gameplay choices in terms of mechanics are questionable. Game can still be difficult, like don't get me wrong, I love the sense of achievement that comes with completing one of From Software's masterpieces. But there are just times where I find myself... I think I've sworn more in this series, I was thinking about this last night. I do want my content on my channel to be family friendly, but there's no way that a series like this is going to be family friendly. Because one, the content in the game is quite brutal, to be fair. And two, the word fuck comes out my mouth quite a lot. Now I know I'm Scottish, and I know it's a really good word. I know it gets your meaning across. It can be used in a variety of situations. But when you're creating content like this, it sometimes feels a teen see bit unprofessional. So I will try and curb it, but you know, don't get your hopes up. Not in this series anyway. So that was that. Nice wee area back here, there's nothing in it. But you never know. Just little details, you know, that could easily have just led to a flat texture, but... It stayed true. Oh, fuck. I hate those things. Better take a drink, just in case. So the trick here is you've got to wait for them to reset to... The first wave, right? And then because his turning radius is crap, you smash him. He breathes it in bursts, like he's starting machine gun fire up. So he's positioned here, so that it starts hitting here, and then gradually raises the angle. And you can hit to about that corner there, because it goes out, over and out. So you can hit to about there, but if you wait until the last bit has hit that corner, and then make a dash up this side, because his turning isn't fantastic. I don't think he has much of a turn, to be fair. Um, because his turning's crap. Is there anything down there? No. 
Yeah, because it's turning crap, you can pretty much just then run up the side of him and smash him. There is a bit you can hide here if you were daft enough to run straight towards him. You might be able to get out round that corner and in there, but I think you'd end up trapped there. More fantastic level design, more fantastic artwork, and I love the fact that the pennons are blowing in the breeze there. The haunting music you can hear is being played by the page. See something down here. It's hidden by the pillars. I think I just caught the glint out the corner of my eye. So, yeah. So we came from that direction as well. So there's we've, we've actually been up there. It's another fantastic example of backgrounds that look flat and static being able to take on their textures. We definitely don't want to fight the archer and gonna wait for that guy to go away or this guy to walk up to me. someone else coming from my left, I could hear that, but I couldn't get out of the animation. I wanted to finish that other guy as well, he was the most dangerous. This guy's also dangerous with the, the sword, the two-handed sword. Those guys are capable of doing a lot of damage to you, even at this stage of the game. Now that looks like a spear or an arrow that has lightning infused in it that's been thrown or fired like a javelin type thing Sword of Morn doing its work There it goes Smashing again. Sort of downstairs garden type area. Quite fancy exploring that. I think you can get down here to go in. But I think coming this way is clever because I think this is an ambush that's waiting to happen. Yeah, it is. Right, we want the little guys, they're faster, but they throw those crappy pots. There we go. There we are. One way or another, I think I would have broken his poise, so I'm happy with that. Tarnished Golden Sunflower. So down there, I know I saw a guy... I don't know if he's actively hiding or I think he's just resting. And then there's a Nox Sword Maiden there. In fact, that's not the Sword Maiden, that's the... She's like a perfumer. But if you take a run and jump from there, you can hit this, which is a Stone Sword key. She's dead now. And I think I can get... Shieldy boy as well. There we go. I'll do me. Don't know if there's anything here I can interact with. Ooh, there's a ladder. Always get excited when I see an opportunity to slide down into a new area. Oh, this is where that hand was that I fought yesterday. I wondered how I got here. I could see this area. But I couldn't see how to get up to it. Is this going to be a kick down yet? So kick down like that, and that's where I fought. That's where the grace was there. Now, that's only useful if there's another way up or another way out. <laughs> I just saw her die again. Um, there's that way, and can I go this way as well? Yeah, 
So this, these both lead to the same area. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no, you don't. I'm glad I stopped him there. There's another guy up there. I don't know how many of them have trumpets either. Crumpets. So this is the stairs. Right, okay, that's fine. I see where I am. So this is where I was earlier. I want to finish exploring this this section right here. Oh, you shouldn't have. No, really, you shouldn't have. Oh, he wins the smashing contest. Remember I told you fights in this feel like a dance when you do it right. I'm kind of glad he's got stuck. <laughs> I was going to say I'm kind of glad he got stuck there, but... That was a little bit rough. Right, okay. You can feel the palpitations starting now. <laughs> yeah, I could feel my heart beating faster as that fight went on. It felt really tense. I kind of thought I'd lost control of it when I chose to back off but in the end it was the right decision because it bought me time to get a heal off so we've got a broken bridge here now there will be a way around to that it's here so chances are it involves these tree branches here. So I think that... Give me a second. Yeah, there we are. I think you might be able to use that. But regardless, that's the end of that exploration path. There's nothing else I can do there. So we're going to sprint on. done all that. Yeah, we did. Right, so back down to here. What am I like for healing? I've got three flasks to crimson tears, okay. I'll try and maintain that just now. I'd rather take on the two the two guys without the third guy. The shield guy's faster, he likes to run, so we'll let him thump. Oh no 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 wrong button David, wrong button David. Tap an L2 for that. <laughs> That's not what you press, David. Lightning proof dried liver. Sounds tasty. Door doesn't open for you. Okay. Let's me know that there's a lot of lightning attacks going to be coming my way. That in mind, we should probably get some of the lightning proof dried liver in there. Get some of the pickled turtleneck for stamina as well. I think this is a continuation of the path where I fought. Yeah, it's because I remember seeing that gate. This is a continuation of the path where I fought the tree guardian that summoned in so this is sort of like the main highway if you want to call it that into the city but it's closed off so we have to go this way instead and we found a site of grace nice give me a chance to check my time as well
Okay, we're only on 90 minutes, so that's grand. Ah, here we go. Got an item around here. Smith and Stone level 6, which is not what I need. I think I need some 8s now to get up to plus 24 on my weapon. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to open that straight away though, no. <laughs> I should know better than that. So that'll be another shortcut that we'll open that'll bring us back to the Grace. So don't expect Sites of Grace to be as plentiful here as they have been previously. Because they will be, there will be a shortcut instead by the looks of things that'll bring us back round. Poised through his attack there. Bow Chappie is just there, I think. I didn't rest at that site of grace, and I should have. All I did was touch it. It's a bit. Uh, he wanted to explore. Now we've got this guy here, now just making sure that there isn't another. Ah! Dear little sod. Oops. Now, there seem to be options here. I seem to have choices. I can go up or down. I don't think I can jump straight down there. That would be a mistake and I would... Uh, in fact, no, I don't want to go down there. I'm sure I've been down there. Yeah, wait a minute. Here is this. Descend. Don't want to descend. What's over here? This this looks new. Oh no, it doesn't. No, I've killed that guy before. That's that area that I was in before. Have I been here? I've been here. I went down there. That's right. And then I climbed down the well. I think. Yeah, I recognise where I am now. So I've come to this area before from the back way. I'm kind of glad I didn't run along there then. I would have been ambushed by all three of them. Yeah, that's not bad. So instead we're going to climb a dragon. <laughs> Suits me. It's awesome. Oh. Dragon has gravel stone grown in his wings. So there is... Nowhere safe to go in that direction. So the only really safe way to go is this way. It looks like I'm going to be dropping in somewhere dark as well, so we'll quickly stick the torch on. So in here we go. Some more gravel stone. I think they help you make the... Gravity... Stone spells. Ah, run up. Nice, sir. Got an option to power up if I want to. I'm doing okay just now. If there's a boss in this area, I might consider powering up the the rune. Now, there is a mistake that I've made with this playthrough that I hope you guys don't make. So I killed the character Praetor Rikard, the snake boss, before I had finished the Volcano Manor quest and it's taken the the contracts off my menu now i can't complete i think i don't think i can complete berntal's the guy that was in 
Volcano Manor and all the silver armor. I can't complete his side quest now, and I can't complete. There's, there's certain suits of armor that I've locked myself out of that I kind of wanted that I actually thought they would have been cool for this, and now I can't get them anymore. So, what you'd be better doing if you get to Volcano Manor, because Mount Gelmir is not. You don't have to go to Volcano Manor. It's, what I'm trying to say. From the abandoned coffin. It is possible to get there via Spirit Springs. But if you get teleported there, don't just go straight to Rikard. Finish the contracts first. And that way you'll be able to get, so that there's a cool armour set that Erin got yesterday which I think is called the Blood Wolf and it is a really cool armour set, it looks really smart got a feeling that that doubles back on me to that shortcut door I'm gonna have a look I'm expecting to get ambushed Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> I did get ambushed. It's dangerous music. You son of a bitch. I never saw him there. Fair enough. Look at that. Right through the shoulder. What a shot. that's the way you get down there to take part in all of that shenanigans. I've heard that, so you know, you guys know I've been using the, I'm going to be using the Twin Sage Sorcerer Ashes, says I've said, that was easy for me to say, the Twin Sage Sorcerer Ashes, and the Archer Ashes. However, I've heard that the Corrupted Stray is really good as well. Now that's, yeah, don't run towards that, David. That's, that's a stone gargoyle. So that's like the gargoyle bosses that we fought earlier. That's not, I thought that was one of those non-turning things. It's not, it's a stone gargoyle. So we'll just leave him just now. I don't think we need to, I don't think we need to disturb him. That guy can still see me from there. So is that a way down or a way up? It's a way down, isn't it? Or is the way down across there? I am in here. Ooh, the cane sword. <laughs> Amazing. An age knight whose last request, whose last quest was long behind him, repurposed for a walking stick. The tip is rather worn. The bent of back and without the brown required to even raise the sword off. He must to meet his end with a weapon in hand. That kind of sounds like Gideon Ophnia, to be fair, because he is an aged knight, and he is like. If you've seen the state of them, I think I could jump down there. I am going to quickly rest at this grace to replenish all my stuff. And then I'm going to have a go at the... I've still got my... Yeah, I have. I'm going to have a go at this guy. These won't make him bleed, I'm well aware. He's a stone statue. But what it will do is aggro him enough to make him come fight me. I was hoping he wouldn't do that though. Well, that was kind of pointless. I do actually want you to come fight me, yet.
Oh, can he not get up to me? Can he not stairs? I love the fact he changes weapons. I think that's amazing. It's so cool. Come to me. I want to kick your ass. Or get my ass kicked by you, one or the other. Whoops. Get away from that, get away from that, get away from that. Yeah, he has an advantage right now. He literally has the high ground. Lol, 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 lol. Hey! Oh, you little shitbag. Bit different when I can kick your ass, mate. Eh? Right, control of this entire situation has been lost. Ouch. I can't get out now. Whoa! But he can sort of get in. Might have to finish this fight with cheese. All it needed was one more hit, but I had to be careful because he had the advantage. He was in a position to annihilate me and I wasn't in a position to hit him back, so... Hey! This is cool. Oh, am I across the other side from where I was? Ah, maybe it was easier than I thought. Yeah, that's the broken staircase. God, this is so cool. Just going to quickly check my time. 32 minutes. So we're still good for 20 minutes. So there's a drop down onto the wall there, into that area, but we can get down into that area safely anyway. Oh, here we go. Another. I'm fighting mini-bosses everywhere now. Yeah, this guy has no chill. And if I'm not careful, I will be chilling. Dead. Whew. That was cool. That was cool. That felt like a proper gladiator fight. So down there is, still can't use the horse, down there is, I'm sure there was an, there's flowers and stuff, there has to be a way down there but I don't think I'm where it is yet. I want to go back and go down to that area to the left of the dragon before I go any further uphill towards the capital, what, do, what I'm assuming will be the, the main royal residence. quickly drop down here and then take my time going through this area what have we got what have we got what have we got we've got these there's dogs here you see i can see them i don't want to get caught by too many at once 
if I can bait one or two or even take out one or two with just the knives. Just use R1 attacks as well for quickness. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I'll do it. Golden rune. Now, because I've went this way, there's an entrance to this place. Gotta be careful in here as well, I think. The jerkiness in the character there is because, again, I've I've explained this before in previous series. I have stick drift on the PS5 controllers. It is a known issue. So that is me trying to walk forward and my character wanting to walk left at the same time. So it's making it look like I'm doing that with the stick and I'm not. This feels like the round table hold. This is the round table hold. That's his hammer. Recognize it? By my sword. Hero's rune. I hope you guys recognize it. It is 100% the the round table hold. This is the the building that we teleport to. Oh no! I wanted that. Damn. Right, okay. I'll need to go round again, I think. I'm running around here like it's safe as well. It's probably not. Black key bolt. Two fingers prayer book. That will be miracles. Wait, wait a minute. I should have just used another one. Why am I? Why am I like thundering these guys with? It's no need. So I'm not able to get back up the stairs because here the stairs are broken so I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to find my way out again. This is the main hall where you fight the depraved tongue, Albrecht, this guy, his robe, his bracers, his trousers. I don't know who he is, we're gonna find out right now because I'm gonna read the lore on his gear. When I find it. <laughs> I think that's it there? No. Yeah, no, that's not. It. That's it there, Albrecht's robe. Mad tongue Albrecht's robe, set with red glintstone, said to be formed by the blood of sacrifices, strengthens thorn sorcery. And a look at the disturbed heretical sorcerer, said to have been driven mad by jeering tongues during his service to the round table hold long ago. So if you're in the round table hold, the upper floor, which doesn't have a balcony here, but does have a balcony in the round table hold when we are teleporting there to do all our bits and pieces. The if you leap over the balcony's edge down into that entrance hall, you will be invaded by Mad Tongue Albrecht, the guy whose armor I just got. Uh, he's not. He's tough at the beginning of the game. You're not going to just be jumping up. When you first get to the round table hold, you're not going to be fighting him and beating him straight away. You're not. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. I fought him. I died. I fought him. I died. I decided no. I went back a little while later, I think, with this character after I'd got the, the great sword. And I kicked, I kicked his ass, well and truly, 
this is what I was looking for was the way out here so that I can loop back round quickly and get that item at the stairs and then we'll go through that door I'm a magpie for loot plus it could be treasure from one of the named characters I think the deathbed companion, Fia, had managed to rob Gideon Ofnir of his life source because I think the whole buy my sword, I found his, his old cane sword and stuff like that here. I think that's letting us know that Gideon had a little dabble with Mistress Fia. Here's the... So this is the bit that I was talking about. I couldn't see this because it was shut in the shadows. But if you jump over here when you're at the round table hold, so when you're here at the table of Lost Grace in the round table hold, if you jump over uh, down here, you get to fight Albrecht. I don't think you get his gear here if you haven't beaten him there. I'm not 100% sure about that. Don't take anything I say with anything other than a massive pinch of salt. This is where we find Gideon Ofnir when we're at the table of Lost Grace in the round table hold. Just kick all his books over. <laughs> So the seedbed curse is the item we need for the the guy that's waiting back at the table of lost grace, the red invader. Been there, been there. Oh, where's the two fingers? We'll check the two fingers chamber before we go down the stair. Are we allowed in? Could be a boss fight. There's nothing in here except a coded sword. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. This is the. It looks like a line of code out the the matrix, and apparently it has a special ability that makes it light up like a lightsaber. Where is it? Is it single-handed? Is it a single-handed sword? Is it? Or a dagger? There it is. Hidden sword once granted to the tarnished of the round table by the two fingers. A formless cipher comprises its blade, which deals holy damage no shield can repel. Champions would gather at the round table hold in days long past, when the two fingers were masters of oration, their flesh yet full of vigour. Unblockable blade. Imbue the, the cipher blade with light, extending its length, then strike with a sudden sweeping attack. The attack cannot be blocked. So it is, it's a lightsaber basically. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm not kidding. Someone demoed it on their channel just to show people what it looked like and it's basically, it does like the whole flash up from the hilt like a lightsaber and then, yeah, it is quite cool. I didn't go through here, did I? No, this is where I came in. Was it? Yes, I came in there. So I have been through there. And we picked up the hammer and everything here. Smith and stone level six. Downstairs, door across the hall. Because we did all of that already. There isn't another. I don't see anything glinting, but I'm just going to have a quick look up here. Don't want to miss anything. No. No, this is amazing. This is actually quite cool. And it's not the first time from software I've done this. Did something similar in Dark Souls 3. Right, I'm gonna let her. I 
I dodged too early. Sorry, right. it's not an insta kill anymore. It does drain a good 60% of your health. Oh, there's another one! I can't fight two at once. I can't fight two at once, I can't fight two at once. You can't. You physically just can't fight two of them at once. I think I prop to bleed on this one. I think I've just managed to get one of them to kill the other. Yeah, I have. Is there one or two out there? I have to be careful because the hitboxes are shitty. Yeah, see? See what I mean? I want... It's gonna have to be hit and run. Because it's now stuck in the doorway. Whoa, <laughs> I wish I had arrows or something. Yeah, it's stuck in the door now. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. I can't. I couldn't fight to it at once. There's just physically no way they would annihilate you. I've seen areas where there's. There's uh, four or five, and I'm just like, how is a player supposed to. The only thing you can do is ride through it on torrent, which is brilliant because. Well, that was tense. So we've got a kind of outdoor area. Just click in the old uh, stick in. Stormhawk axe sounds like something the Fali Lou might use. Nascent butterfly. Not sure who might be. That's an elevator. Anything round outside before I go up? Yeah, that's an elevator. Ah, uh, quickly. I am quickly going to check the area where that other... Iron Maiden was patrolling, which was here. There's an item, okay. Somber Smith and Stone, okay. So she she went up and round that corner and that she was the first one that I was in the middle of fighting. So there's there's not gonna be anything else to discover there because I could see right down that corridor. So it's up in the lift. It's my last blast of Christmas plant. Christmas tears? Crimson tears. It's my last flask of Christmas tears. Ah, I cried on my Christmas. This is going to be a boss fight. <laughs> Oh no, I know where I am, I know where I am, I know where I am. I've been here before. Yeah, I have been here before. This is where you get teleported to. 
or you can get teleported to earlier in the game. So I've been to this site of grace before. It's the Divine Bridge site of grace, and I think the one that sends you here is the one at Tower of No Return. He comes to life. Now, the last few times I've fought him, it's not been pretty. Ow, uh, He's gonna throw rocks in my direction now. Yeah, he is. Ow. That's uncalled for. No, 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 no. Don't get stuck in an animation! Don't roll into that either! Now yes, he's, he can do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Ow! Fortunately for me, like Achilles, he's got weak ankles. There we go. Farewell. And then we've got a teleporter, so I'm going to take that. Where am I? Ooh! This is the isolated divine tower. It's tightly blocked shut. Well, that's no fun. It's pretty pointless. There's probably, to be fair, there is probably something I have to do first. So... We get there. Right. So there's no way, the only way to get there is from the Divine Bridge. So, Fortified Manor, first floor. West Capital Rampart. Trying to think of the easiest way to get back here. I think it might be West Capital Rampart. There was the place where I fought the gladiator with the axe. I think I've picked the right one. Have I? No, yes. <clears throat> yes. And the gargoyle didn't come back. Fantastic. I'm just going to ignore these guys and head up. They, I think the... Yeah, it went down that way. There's also back the way down there that I can go uh, down that way. Back in that direction, underneath where the dragon is. Because there was a... I can claim this. Oh, I'm excited by that. Hey, a tree guardian sort of guy. Hey, fella. Another tree guardian sort of look. He's dead too. So it looks like there's a way in there. So glad I came back this way. I'd have been mighty upset if... And that's the way down to there. Didn't hear the sound of the big sword swooshing behind him. So there's a way up, a way in, a way under, under, first, if I can drop on his head and get this attack off, nope, oh well, doesn't matter then, this is where the Miranda blooms were that I saw earlier,
I don't care if they poison me. I've got the stuff to secure it this time. Oh, he's dead already. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. These are the bodies of the guys that I killed earlier. Miranda Powder. Roll, roll, roll your boat. <laughs> I am ahead just there. I'm just gonna double check round here. Nothing there. Smith and Stone level six. Yeah, I thought so. I'm glad I checked the time there. We're fast approaching time. So I'm gonna end this episode here and pick up in the next one, guys. We've got a lot of exploration done, I've got more of the capital done today, I'm going to finish off, try to get inside there in the next episode. We're going to go along, back the way, quickly double check what's back along underneath the dragon's body and then we will head up the hill here and see what there is. So thanks for sticking with me guys. Raptors, I'll see you again for the next episode. This is Blizzard Raptor out for now.